Okay, now I'm going to do another video for people who are in the city or you have to go to the city for a short time. How do you find the relief in the city that you can find in nature? And I was working with uh, uh, one of the group, the NCCC group, and uh, came up with this one. And it is very, very, very true uh, for anybody who is in the city. Because I don't care where you are on this planet, you have access to looking up in the sky and seeing the sun, the moon, the stars. Okay, I would go with the sun if I was you. So if you're in a city and you can't get to nature, go to the sun. You can um, talk to the sun. You can concentrate on the sun. You can pull in the energies of the sun, and the sun's energies are very, very powerful. Always available for you at any time. Sun works really, really, really well. So you can use that just like you would out in nature. You can do the same thing with the sun from anywhere. But let's say you're having a really hard time, it's a bad day, you can't get into nature, and you can't see the sun. Overcast, okay? And you can't visualize, for whatever reason, because it is a bad day, you can't visualize where the sun would be on the other side of those clouds. Or maybe it's nighttime. Okay, in a city, no matter where you are, you can step outside or open a window and you can call on the elementals. The elementals are earth, wind, fire, and water. Those will be the easiest way for you to remember them. There's lots more of them than that. But earth, wind, fire, and water, you can always access. Always. So let's say that you can't get to water. Um, as in a lake that's close by, the ocean that's close by. Um, you could do it with lake, any kind of running water. Shoot, you could do it with running tap water. You could open your tap and concentrate on that, which is why, of course, bathing is really, really good because basically you're interacting with the element of water, okay? So you can shower, bathe, um, look at or go walk by any kind of form of water. Also, rain and snow. That's also water and that's also elementals that you can uh, concentrate on. You can also do that with a recording of rain on the roof of a, of a house. You can connect with the element of water all of those ways. And that will get you to a much higher vibration and relieve the low vibrations of 3D and ease up the ones that are in 4D. Um, you could do the earth. Everything here is built on the earth. You can walk outside and stand on, even if you're on concrete, underneath that concrete is earth, and the concrete itself is built out of earth. So you can connect with earth that way. You can also go and pick up a rock, connect to the element of, of earth through any rock, any stone, anywhere, anytime. You can also connect with the element of earth through metal. So if you've got any kind of jewelry, a watch, anything metallic in your house, you can connect with the element of earth through that venue. So whenever you get to this point, let's see, with earth, wind, fire, fire, again, anybody can light a fire, buy you a candle, um, get you a metal pan and light you know, a little something on fire in the pan if you're really desperate. Um, all different ways that you can see fire so you can access that element of fire, of, of uh, those elementals. All of what I just described, earth, wind, wind. Okay, wind's the other one. Usually you can step outside and feel some kind of a breeze. It may not be a heavy duty breeze, but usually you can feel some kind of breeze. Uh, you can also create breeze or use air with your breathing. So you can do some deep breathing and blow. That's wind. That's air. So you see there with the four elementals, which is why earth magics are built on the elementals, earth, wind, fire, and water, is because you can access those higher vibrations to relieve the difficulties that you might have, take you back to a now moment, and... 
will get you to a happier place by using the four elementals, no matter where you are. So you don't have to have nature. You can use the uh, elementals to get you to that feeling, to that place. All right, does that make sense? Again, I will do another video on long version and we'll step through. Probably we'll do one video for each elemental and I'll also probably go into other elementals, but I'll probably do uh, one video for each elemental to really step, step, step through how to connect to all of them and m different ways that you connect to all of them. But for this short version, you can take this knowingness and understand now why swimming feels good, a uh, shower feels good, a bath feels good, uh, the fresh air on your face feels good. Um, people are mesmerized by fire. All of those things are true because they're elementals. Elementals are gigantic. This is huge energy, huge energy that is not, you don't really have any feeling strongly against any of those elementals. Whereas you start calling on the divine masculine and the divine feminine, you will probably have some judgments some knee-jerk reactions due to past interaction with people on both sides of that one. But the elementals, you probably don't have a bad attitude of, uh, towards the elemental, uh, the element of air. It's probably just the stuff that you breathe and the stuff that blows on your face. Okay, well then you don't have to worry about calling, uh, messing with that vibration. You could just appreciate air and go from there. Now, if your house is burned down before, I probably wouldn't use fire. If uh, tornadoes destroyed your home, don't use air. But one of the elementals will have no negativity next to them, so you can, you can interact with the elemental energy easily without it, you know, anything in your life interrupting that. Okay? Does that make sense? All right, then that one's it. Uh, I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now. Huge hugs.